Hello, and welcome back to more Trag. The last time we were together, we, we didn't really accomplish much, did we? We found where the professor was, but we couldn't rescue him because we had to fight our way through a boss. Not just any boss, a succubus boss. From Sorcerer Hunters. Yeah, that's a ticket. But, um, we kind of had to go through some unskippable scenes to get there. So I'm not going to make you guys keep watching that. We're just going to jump ahead to the fight. Give me a second. Alright, Alex wants to fight her. That didn't turn out so good. I think we were having the best luck fighting her with Burns. Although we weren't doing too bad with Rachel. Hmm... I think we're going to stick with Burns. His combos are a little easier to pull off. Oh! She tricked us! Yeah, you can trick us that time. Oh. Tr tricky. Where are you? Come on. No, no, no. Look at the lady. The lady with the energy claw that's about to hit you. So right now she's still kind of in her first phase, which wasn't what we were having trouble with. Oh, that ground pound that Burns does, that actually drains a little bit of his health, but it is pretty effective. Alright, we're doing pretty good. We knocked about half of her health off. Oh, dang it. No, no, no. Crystal's bad. Now, it's real annoying when she summons her, her minions to help, but that crystal, that's the problem. There they are. Remember the number one rule? Don't die. Can we break these? Oh, jeez. Alright, I don't know if we can break those or not, but I don't think it's a good idea to try. Oh, jeez. I missed. Now, if 
beating these enemies only made them drop, like, health power-ups and stuff, that would make this a lot easier. Alright, lady. Two-thirds of her health? Okay, lucked out there. Alright, we actually might pull this off. Hang on. Behind the desk? I should find that out. might be right. Try being more aggressive. Well, it didn't work in that case. Almost got her. Yeah, there we go. Wait. Wait, she was a robot? in the disk a program to control the garland system satellite with that program you can operate the satellite from any location so that means Miguel is yes he's planning to use the satellite for his own evil ends to take control of the world and behind him is the evil vault vault he's a big noise in the weapons development division he's the one who planned this whole thing uh, uh, uh. daddy please you've got 
got to get the disc back. Don't worry, Professor. Rachel, I'm so sorry things had to end this way. That no good, Miguel. Rachel. We've, we've got to get that disc back as fast as we can. Yes, now we know what we've got to do. Oh, hey, Michelle's back. Right. Time to kick some butt. No, what it's time to do is save the game. A roulette ball. Well, I think we know exactly where to use that. Yes, we will take the first aid pills. We will take any medicine you want to give us. So someone in the chat made the comment that this game looks like Die Hard Arcade had a bad one night stand with a PlayStation 1 Resident Evil. That that honestly doesn't sound that far off. Alright, so Michelle's messed up, Burns is messed up, Alex and Rachel are less messed up. Um, we'll stick with Alex for the time being. Okay, save point. I think there's one over in the lobby. That's done, and we will never have to fight that woman again. Until she shows up again. do that great robots. So we're just gonna leave them alone. Okay, I think... Was this the room with the roulette table? There we go. Use the roulette ball. Yes. Red seven. Sky is very wide. Here it comes. No, I was just thinking about it. We still haven't gotten through that room with the force field. stairs. Yeah. 
Here it comes! Can't get that before it drops. There was also a... There was a locked room somewhere that we didn't get through either. Large pipes. So let's take a look at the map, see where we are. Okay, we're still on the 27th floor. That was the game room. Yeah, on the 26th floor, there was a room we didn't get into yet. Oh yeah, this place looks friendly. The way's blocked by a reinforced shutter. We'll have to blast it out of the way. Now if we just had a bomb. Does the bomb up on the top floor still work? Hi there. Here it comes. I was kind of hoping that would hurt the enemy. If I can go up the ladder. Ooh, red EX bottle. Does that give us more HP? Yes. Alright, who wants 50 extra HP? Uh, Michelle does. Even during an incident like this, the night sky is as calm as ever. It's not going to be easy to get to the other level by scaling a wall. Ooh, it's a vent. Very cramped in, very cramped in there. Rachel might be able to push herself in. Okay. Rachel, do your magic. So is she by herself now? No! The rest of the team came with her. There's a switch. Sure, let's press it. Let's see what happens. to complete. Come back in a little while. So we're going to leave it up to this madman to build a bomb for us? Alright, Burns, have fun. Oh, I see a bad guy. It appears to be an electric shutter. There's no power getting to it. Uh-oh. We're trapped. I 
kind of missed that. back here. All right, going down. Oh, we found the discharge management system. There are three slots. So we're probably going to need to find three items to turn off that barrier. A file and a couple of discs. They don't particularly look that important. Okay. Ooh, the disengagement manual. This is heavier than I thought. I'll just take what I need. Alright, disengaging the electrification array. The electrified area serves as a preventative measure against unauthorized entry. Disengagement requires a key device for the purpose called the disengagement device. There are a total of three disengagement devices, and disengagement cannot proceed without all three. In the interest of security, the storage location of the keys have been distributed amongst multiple floors. Care should be taken to ensure that disengagement not be performed without authorization for non-emergency purposes. Okay, well, if we're gonna turn this thing off, we gotta find the keys. And the keys are gonna be on different floors. Actually, let's take a look at our key items. No, it doesn't look like we found any of them yet. Okay, instructions for incinerator use. Combustion is just turned on and off, and flame intensity regulated, by means of four separate control valves, which are turned in a specific order. A sign posted underneath reads, Problem is currently being corrected. Each now each valve now stays open or closed for a shorter period of time. Appropriate caution should be taken. Wonderful. Burns could probably push this. Yeah, but Burns isn't here. find the vault? Alright, the enemies are gone. Burns, what's going on? blast through that baby like a knife through butter. <laughs> Guy's insane. Alright, we got Bry Byford's bomb. Okay, so that means he should be back on the team. Okay, 
Mumbert. Alright, so through that door is the area with the plasma shield. And this way should lead us back to Duck King. And run. Now, I really doubt that Duck King has anything new to say. Thanks, man. It's good to know we got you on our side. There's a room up on the 27th floor we can blow a hole in now. We have a key to a vault. What else? Well, that room is still locked. Gotcha. Let's see, let's see. Well, we've only got one real lead right now, so let's go with that. No burns. Why don't you use the keypad? Beat me to it. Uh oh. No. Uh, 
That's alright, we just saved. Rachel's a robot. We'll let her play with the other robots. doesn't have the striking power. So I'm getting a couple of requests in the chat. People think I should play games like Radical Rex, Dr. Fra The Adventures of Dr. Franken, and Family Dog. Family Dog was a TV show, wasn't it? Like an animated series that never really took off, but they still made a video game out of it. Okay, come on, drop us some health. Who knows, I might end up checking out those games sometime. Always feel free to request games here in the chat, or on the Facebook, or wherever. If I think they look any good, I'll give them a shot. Okay. I also kind of have to try to remember that you requested them. It's not exactly a great game, but it does have a lot of charm. Okay, what, what, what is this? Oh, that's a bomb.
Okay, let's try the door at the end of the hole first. And then we'll come back and try the one behind us. Right, I'm getting a little better with Alex. Parts for machines put away by category. Okay, first aid pill. Various cans of spray, but they're empty. There's something inside. <clears throat> Diary of Maintenance Division Staff. Month of November, date the 13th. I've made a terrible mistake. I think I accidentally threw the disengagement plug in the trash. If this gets out in the division, I'll be fired. What will happen to my wife and kids? I have to find that plug somehow. Okay, November, date the 14th. The garbage incinerator is in the basement of the building. The underground level is listed as classified area, so it's off limits to us. It won't be easy for someone from another department to get an entry permit, but I've got to find some way in. If the disengagement plug is anywhere, it has to be in the incineration area. I'm planning to go in tomorrow night. November 15th. I managed to get down to the basement, which is built like an elaborate trap. On top of that, I saw some guys down there that didn't look as though they worked for the company, all dressed in military gear. Who the hell are they? I gave up midway on their account, but I've got to get to the incinerator area tomorrow night. I'll go down through a trash chute. That sounds like a bad idea. Alright, well, we found the administrator log. So we're probably going to have to go down a trash chute to find the incinerator key, uh, the disengagement plug in the incinerator room. A half-finished machine. Alright, the power handle. So yeah, that's like the, uh... Ooh, first aid pill. A few dirty boxes. That's like the, um... What was it? The valve crank from Resident Evil 2. It's going to be very important. Large machine tool. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, I don't think there's any enemies in here yet. It says on the monitor, emergency code issues. Op emergency code issued. Operation terminated. I can guess. I guess I can't use it. Yeah, same as before. Access terminal number five. No, let's leave those alone until we figure out what we're doing in here. Information Retrieval System. Operate. Okay, this one we'll play with. Do you open the file? Machine Gear... Machinery Gear Incorporated. Data Library. First experiment in space of the Garland System. I'm not going to try to read all that. Let's get going. Okay. 
Okay, can't use that either. It's a network computer. Download what are we downloading? 1017. In this new electronic organism, I have infiltrated the data room above ground. According to the information I accessed there, there was once a research project conducted within Machinery Gear Incorporated that attempted to create an artificial brain within which a human brain could be replicated. If this project has been completed, I can transplant my own characteristics and memories into this artificial bra brain and be reborn. And become a perfect being complete in all ways. But I know only of this project's existence. All other information was completely erased. Who on earth could have been working on this? There is no way to find out more by my own powers alone. Rats! What are Miguel and his men doing? They still haven't been able to locate any traces of the artificial brain, even after the trouble I went to in order to give them false identities as Machine Gear employees. <sighs> Perhaps they're nothing more than a straggling bunch of mercenaries after all. Though they were a bit sharper than that, but looks as though but looks as though I was mistaken. <sighs> Miguel and his goons are up to something behind my back. Their meeting place is near the skylight on the building's penthouse floor, out of reach of my eyes. I must think of some way what? What on earth? Something something alien inside me. No. Is this Is it a virus? Laughter. I know that voice. Miguel! No pain. It is deed. Darn him. <clears throat> General General Bulletin Board. Inspection notice. Because of the malfunction and the ventilation of the 24th floor, the wall duct will be inspected. Alright, found the unknown data entries. Picked up an internal report. It's a room's light switch. Press the button. Okay, sure. I can't tell what anything is. It's way too dark. This is where night vision goggles come in useful. Use the night vision goggles. That's right. Alex has night vision goggles. So if he goes into a dark room, he can still see. Okay. Well, this thing is flashing red. Access terminal 6. We did something right. We're getting a cutscene. room. Go down. Yes. Oh, hello. That's our first disengagement plug. Actually, this might be our second. Could have sworn we found something like that. Yeah, device one, device two. So yeah, we got two of them already. So I guess the last one is in the incinerator. of reports next to some tools. Accident report, dated May 7th. An explosion of accidental nature took place on May 3rd in the Development Research Unit number 3 basement level. Casualties. Fatalities. Four researchers. Seriously wounded, Professor Volt. Property damage. 
Underground Development Research Unit Number 3 was completely gutted. Cause of accident unknown. Notes. Fire was brought under control six hours after the onset of the accident. Professor Volt has suffered limb and other losses corresponding to 37% of his body and sustained burns and injuries to 68%. His condition is extremely serious. His physiological functions are currently being maintained in a special life support system, but the immediate danger still cannot be underestimated. There are no signs of his regaining consciousness. The Accident Investigation Committee. Okay, cardboard boxes. Nothing else. Oh, wait. So it was locked from this side. Unlocked door. So where are we? Oh! Oh, we're down here! Wow! That's great, because there's a save point right here. Okay, that still leaves us figuring out where to go next. We gotta get down to the basement to find the other disengagement device. Unlock safe. Was there... Was there a safe to unlock? I'm trying to... We may have come across one, I'm just not remembering. Power handle, that too is probably important. Let's see. Leave the robots alone. Ah. I honestly thought we could get past it. Actually, you know what? Yes. I mean, yes, but not this way. fight is over, we should explore up here. Like this safe. A black EX bottle. Ooh, a hundred point life boost. Who should that who should that go to? Actually you know what? I think I'm gonna give it to Burns.
Yeah, I know Burns, you're ready to go. Lights from the city. First aid tube. Desktop's tidy. There's nothing on it that looks useful, though. It's a globe. A lot of expensive paintings. Get him, Burns. attached to it. An environmental sensor. Alright, now Rachel went through here. Better not look down. Let's enjoy Rachel crawling through the vents one more time. Alright, now this is the room where they made the bomb, right? Also, Rachel has no HP. I guess I didn't notice it, but there's a door right here. Let's switch characters, though. Um, let's try playing with Michelle for a little while. It's locked from the other side. Well. Something clopping. Oh. Robo Scorpion. I don't want, want to fight with you. You are not worth the trouble.
Alright, well, I think I'm going to follow the chat's advice now, and we're going to head down to the first floor. You know, I should have got that... should have got that healing item for Rachel. Exactly a lot of health, but it's better than nothing. Alright, that elevator doesn't work. We'll have to go back to the lobby. All right, back to the first floor. Did anybody notice any trash chutes? I'm trying to remember if there were any that we came across. somewhere else. Okay, can't leave yet.
What's this? I've never seen this kind of machine in an office building before. Okay, well, if they're red like that, they're probably locked and can't be opened. There are emergency stairs, but the top exit has been blown up, so there's not much point in using them. It has a special lock on it. Can you use the special lock? An exhaust stock. Hmm. Can't leave now. Okay. go check in on the professor, see how he's doing. Maybe he's got something to say. This is not the infirmary. I shouldn't need to toggle this switch anymore. Nothing inside. Professor has nothing to say. Hmm. So assuming I'm right about the trash chute, where would you keep one? Hmm. down through a trash chute. Okay, because, of mal because of a malfunction in the ventilation of the second of the twenty seventh floor, the wall duct will be inspected. Now didn't I do that already?
Now, I remember, Rachel crawled through the ventilation on the 28th floor. And that's how we got to that room where we found that memo. Ooh, knocked us right out of the air. TV. Wine and glasses. Alright, well, we've been playing for more than an hour at this point, and although I usually liked to end the videos on a game over, I think that's going to do it for now. But we made uh, pretty good progress, especially com compared to the last few videos where we got stuck on bosses. But that's going to do it for Trag for now. I'll see you all a little later.